Hello and welcome back to Unity of Command. This is Don Snip and the final mission of Black Turn. So I'm really looking forward to this one and I've already played it. Obviously we're in replay mode um, and that has a very specific reason. This is a yeah, very complex scenario and I tried a lot of options in order to find out a find out the best way to do this so yeah I I simply was not in the mood to replay um, the game I was um, happy with and so this is the replay and yeah let's look at the situation for a moment and then I can talk a little bit about the options you have here so you have to take all seven, uh, all three objectives on turn seven, and let me tell you that's not easy. The Russian troops are extremely strong here. When you take a look, all of them have yeah tanks or artillery or anti-tank weapons attached to them. So your units and direct one-to-one -one battle most of the time have absolutely no chance to get demolished but on the positive side um, we're entrenched here along the river so the Russians will have a hard time attacking you with and trust me you should keep those entrenched units along the river and not redeploy them um, first I thought, as always, this will be a game about supply, so I tried to cut them off. Um, let's take a look at the supply here. Um, there's one here, and if you can cut them off in the back, they would yeah, basically collapse in the north, but always starts when you show up one of those um, but trust me it's absolutely not possible to take the supply here um, even if you wait till they redeploy to the south they're very fast and strong cavalry units here so no way those units can take it they will absolutely get demolished once they cross the river and so yeah, I abandoned that idea. Then I thought maybe it would be easier if I shortened the front line and, for example, um, try to build a front line here, keep those units and, yeah, basically withdraw all of them and, yeah, build a wall here. But in the frozen uh, ground, you cannot dig in. So that's basically impossible. You get overrun, you have to hold along the river. Yeah, so another difficult thing is the supply situation for your own units. You have to prevent the Russians from cutting off this road or this road, otherwise you're completely screwed. And one moment, I I have to drink. Um, yeah, basically you're screwed if you lose the front line. So you have to hold here. And your units will be out of supply when they occupy this target. Um, you have the possibility to, to drop supply, but that's not very efficient. You have to... Yeah, you basically have to supply your advancing tanks or yeah mobile infantry units it's not a good idea to supply units that are holding a target so yeah it's a very short distance here actually um, so it's easy to take this one but you cannot hold it so that's a problem and same here if you don't have the road it gets very difficult to yeah capture and hold those targets um, 
And they're all coming down. Thousand. You cannot take the bridges fast enough to prevent them. So, yeah, we'll see how I solve this. But there is an option. And basically, it's about timing. Um, you don't have to take those early on. Um, the trick is. Well, the ideal is outcome is if you take all three targets on turn seven, um, then you don't have, don't have to worry about supply. And so the trick is to bring strong, at least one strong unit adjacent to a target, and yeah, hold this position until the last turn, and on the last turn take the target. And yeah, don't rush taking the target, that makes it unnecessarily complicated. Yeah, and another important thing, um, you have very weak units here. The only units that are useful uh, on the offensive are your tanks that have low strengths and your mobile infantry units. Um, so on the bright side, you can disband normal regular infantry and yeah, redistribute it to your mobile infantry and we will make use of this a lot if I remember correctly. But I think that was enough talking. Uh, let's kick things off and see how we are doing. Yeah, you have quite a few air attacks here. So I first try to take the bridge that's complicated enough but now we have the bridge and yeah as a bonus we got rid of a strong unit but that's not really necessary and if you can't take the bridge uh, it's an option to attack this unit here that's weaker but it's obviously better to get the bridge now we have already a strong bridgehead here and we're trying to work our way towards the target here. Yeah, it's Voroshilovgrad. Yeah, I'm using all my units in order to get a strong unit adjacent to it and then I'm trying to stabilize the front line here. One moment bringing um, the Italian infantry units up to fill the gaps between my German forces. Um, there are no use on the offenses on the offense here. And yeah you have to be very efficient here. Um, they're going to attack and you want to have reserves. Um, you are going to take losses here. So once again, the task for the first turn is get over the river. You don't have to have all your tanks across the river. That doesn't matter, but you have enough time to reach the targets. Um, surprisingly enough, you don't have to rush this mission. Um, it's more about yeah, forming a secure line that can reach the final target. So don't get breached. Yeah, now I'm disbanding units. Let's pause for a moment. I'm disbanding units in order that I can resupply my mobile infantry. And I'm shortening the line here a little bit. It's no use to hold on the other side of the river. So I'm withdrawing and yeah, keeping those two units in place, I think. And this one is a reserve unit I can redeploy to the thousand. This one is reserve as well. We will need it. And now the Russian counterattack. We don't care if they take territory here. And another important thing, don't try to stop them from crossing the river here. Being uh, entrenched is more valuable. Yeah, a lot of movement. 
and they are going to try to cut off us off and yeah a lucky blue they succeeded so we have to reconnect the next turn yeah and the, the italians are doing quite fine actually yeah and the big hit on the tank so this one is a big risk of getting destroyed well it survives, but it's more or less useless now. So, an option would be to um, disband one of the tanks immediately and redeploy the strength points to the other. But, yeah, I not really see the point in that. Normally, the planes do not do that much damage, so this was a yeah, unlucky RNG, but sooner or later they are going to hit one of our tanks, but I think it's more valuable to have more, yeah, more units basically, just to fill the space. Yeah, supplying this one in order that it can fight its way out and we don't have to attack. And we want to shorten our line here. Yeah, rather unlucky here. But the damaged units can be recycled. Now we are trying to fight our way out of this defensive layout. That's hard work. But the strong units should be able to do it. Yeah, and I want more bodies in the house, just in order to fill yeah. Fill the line to the target. Yeah, and the Russians are extremely strong on this, this mission. You're barely able to hold. Yeah, but the Italians are doing a great job here. And this time the tank was more lucky. And we have a massive wedge here. So we're safe from getting cut off, we reconnected here once again and massive reinforcements are coming down. Yeah, once again they are trying to break our line here. That's the weakest point, obviously. No, actually, that's our turn. <laughs> we um, I was a little bit confused. We are trying to clear out and stabilize. Yeah, now our strong mobile infantry units can we can do their job, hopefully. Yeah, getting rid of the weaker units and strengthening the units that do matter. So. Once again, we are trying to destroy as many units as possible just to get the bodies out of the way in order that we can move. Um, now we are adjacent to two targets. That's great. Only one to go and the road is still open. And we are only on turn three, so that should be possible. And now our mobile infantry is really overthranked and yeah. The Russians are out of supply here as well, so now we should be relatively safe here. The 
line is complete the Italians are holding so everything looks fine but they have almost infinite supply of units here and they are relentlessly attacking the weak points so the AI is doing a great job here Yeah, and once again, we were not able to hold. But they don't have the power to attack this mobile infantry. Yeah, now the target is guarded. But we should still be able to break through. Yeah, but now we have a weak point here and yeah, a lot to clear out um, around this target. So it's yeah, not looking extremely bad, but yeah, we have some troubles. Once again having to resupply here because we couldn't hold and yeah this is actually bad luck uh, I wanted to damage this unit in order that I can take the target um, more easily but didn't work so hopefully they're putting a weak unit inside and this one is a distraction maneuver I want to pull some units of them to the true north Maybe they will take the bait. And yeah, once again, we're trying to stabilize here. And the Luftwaffe is doing a great job of weakening the enemy. Yeah, first target taken. You can take this one because we need the supply route, anyways. And now it's a good idea to yeah, get rid of the units um, that can threaten your supply and now my tanks are already level 2 veterans at least this one so that's really helpful too Yeah, and it's really helpful that yeah, you, you can basically draw the enemy units towards towards um, the taken target. Yeah, and the Italians are still holding. And once again... Yeah, this one was a great defense. to take back this location I think yeah and they put in a, a weak unit that's great and yet yeah, this time we could hold so we don't have to waste any resupplies and moreover they didn't take the bait so maybe we can take the, the, the supply after all and yeah, this one is very weak, this one, yeah, this line is extremely weak, but yeah, slowly but surely they are running out of units. So turn 5 now. Now it's time to get some units out of the way. Yeah. This unit I strengthened last turn in order to being able to yeah put my more mo mobile units on the offense again. Yeah. 
yeah, now it's... Yeah, the lines are getting a little bit stretched out. But we're almost at the target and... Yeah. We should be able to keep everything in supply. And we're pushing them back a little bit here. So it looks great actually. Well, forget what I said about keeping everything in supply. But once again, drawing the units towards you is not the worst thing. Now we can hopefully destroy them. And still we're holding the line. Yeah, this one is a hero, but now... Ah, barely he survives, I think. Yeah, and you, you really have to go for defensive advantage here. Yeah, and the Italians are in a desperate situation here. But at least they soaked up a lot of attacks. Yeah, and hopefully we can reach them. Now it's turn six. But finally we should be able to stabilize on, on this front. And I'm not interested anymore um, in yeah holding here. That's impossible. We don't have enough units. Yeah, but a strong one is gone. And... Yeah, they're a little bit thinned out and it worked. At least we, we drew two units to the north. That's great. Those are engaged. And... Yeah, those should be out of supply. We should be in supply again. And yeah, we are adjacent to the target and we have three units in striking distance, so yeah, that looks doable. attack is not that effective if <laughs> you can speak of a counter attack they're more or less only moving but I'm fine with that so yeah um, we're mostly in supply uh, we can resupply one of those and use our air force on this target so our final turn Well, <laughs> this one is holding, but yeah, now we have the target and the front line is pretty secure. Yeah, that was easy, but we would have had more units in reserve. Yeah, and that's it. Brilliant victory. We did it in time and 
we are even in a very stable situation. So if this would have been a real fight, um, yeah, the situation is, is stable here. We could easily hold there. Might be even able to counter attack. Um, no doubt we could hold here. And we're we're having some supply issues here, but they're running out of units. So yeah, we could get rid of those units very easily. Then resupply everything, take the supply in the thaws, and basically hold along this river. So yeah, I think this is a perfect springboard for our summer offensive and yeah so i'm happy with the outcome here and see you at the main campaign at stalingrad in the summer so hope you enjoyed the campaign and yeah good night bye